Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about your first assignment for this week. We are going to complete some array exercises. I have six different exercises for you here. And you are, they are all related to arrays. They're all going to be using the array methods we've talked about. And basically you're just going to go through and create them. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can more easily see this. Add to remove from array. You're going to create two functions. The first one should be called add to array and accept an array as an argument and a string as another argument. So right here, add to array, it accepts an array and it accepts a string. It should add the string to the end of the array. So a, b, and c returns a, b, c as a single array. The second function should be called remove from array right here. Take in an array as an argument and remove the last item in the array returning this item. So, remove from array, pass in an array, returns C. The original array should be A and B, so you are modifying this array. Remember back which type of array methods are you going to use. Your second one is add to slash remove from beginning. So it's going to be the exact same, add to and remove from, except instead of the end, you're going to do that from the beginning. A, B, and C return C, A, B, because this is added on to the beginning of the array. Remove from beginning, A, B, C returns A, and the original array is now B and C because you've modified it. Return next item. So this is the third exercise. You're going to write a function called return next item that takes in two arguments, an array of strings and another string. So an array of strings and another string. The function should check the array to see if the string exists in the array. So if I passed it B, it does exist. If it does, it should return the next item. I passed it B, which is right here, so it returns C. If, the la if it's the last item, it should return an empty string. So I passed it C, C is the last item, so it returned an empty string. If the string's not in the array, it should return false. A, B, and C, I passed it crap. Crap is not in here, so it returns false. Chunks. Write a function. I'll have to fix my typo there. Write a function called return chunk that takes in three arguments. Three arguments this time. An array of strings, so A, B, C, D here. A string, A, and a string, C. So you have an array and then two strings. It should check the array for the two items and return everything between those two items inclusive. Assume that the strings will be in order. In other words, the first string is going to come first, the second string is going to come let come later. If either of the strings are not in the array, return false. So number one, assume they'll be in order. So you don't have to check and see which one comes first. I'm not worried about that. We're not that advanced yet. Although you could, this is something that's not that too terribly difficult to do once you get JavaScript down. But I'm going to assume that they're in order for this. So A, B, C, and D is the array we passed. A and C. So A is there, C is there. So it returns A, B, C, because those are the things between A and C inclusively. Make sure that you remember that inclusive. Return chunk A, B, C, D, where we pass in C and D, just returns C and D. And then again, A and crap, crap's not in there, so it returns false, even though A is in there. For the next exercise, we're going to sum values. You're going to write a function called sum values that takes in an array of numbers as an argument, it should add all the numbers together and return the total value. Use for each for this exercise. That is a requirement. You have to use for each. So sum values 1, 2, 3, 4 should return 10 because 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 10. You have to use for each method. And then finally, join strings. You're going to write a function called join strings. It takes in two arguments, an array of strings and one more string. It should concatenate each value of the array with the second argument and add them to a new array, which is then returned. So for example, ABC is the argument, is the array, so each argument in here. The string is letter colon space. So it should return letter colon space A, letter colon space B, letter colon space C. So this one is going to be repeated and concatenated to the front of each item. Join strings 1, 2, and number returns number 1, because notice there's no space here, so they're stuck right next to each other. Number 1, number 2. You should use the map method for this exercise. You have to use map for this exercise. So this is the file you're going to get. You can download this from Blackboard. It's going to have some comments in here where it just basically gives you the exact same information to make it easier on you. It has the um, const, the functions already created, and then down at the bottom, 
you're not going to change any of this because this just is my, my checks for it. So don't change any of this stuff. Change this up at the top. So const add to array equals, and then you're going to put your, your error function here. And then put your, you, you see how this works. If you get stuck, make sure that you check Stack Overflow, make sure that you Google, make sure that you check around because these, the answers to this type of stuff is out there. You can rewatch the videos if you need to. If you get stuck and you cannot find your answer and you have to ask for help, please let me know and I will be happy to help. Thank you very much.